Hi, I'm Heather from Arrow, and today we're going to do some troubleshooting on inserts. By far, the number one call that we get is on inserts and that people think their inserts do not fit. So we want to go through some troubleshooting things to help you before you give us a call. One of the first things we're going to ask you when you call is what is etched in on your insert? Because this tells us the make and model of our opening as well as your sewing machine. So we're going to need to know what's etched in. That way we can tell did you get the right insert. And what you'll notice is on the insert, it's on the upper right hand corner. And so when you're placing your insert in the cabinet, that sticker and etching is going to be in the upper right hand corner. If you're trying to put your insert on like this where this is down, it's not going to fit. So make sure you always have that in the upper right hand corner. The next thing we're going to ask you to do is to remove your accessory kit. Pretty much 99% of machines have an accessory kit. They all come off different. You want to expose your free arm on your machine. Unless you have a very old flatbed machine that didn't have a free arm, you should have a machine that has a free arm and an accessory kit that needs to be removed because the insert is only made to fit that free arm. So one of the first things we're going to ask you to do is to take the insert and just put it around your free arm. And does it fit? So what you'll notice is it fits. It fits perfectly around this machine. It follows all the contours of this machine. So we know that this is the correct insert for this machine. So then the second thing or third thing we're going to have you do, move your machine completely off the cabinet platform, put your platform down in the flatbed position, put the insert in the opening. Does it fit? Is it laying flush? And you'll notice this one it fits perfectly and is laying flush. So if you thought that this was the wrong insert, we've just proven fits the opening, it fits the machine, so it has to be something else. So the other things that it could be, and what we find is a lot of people, it's the placement of their machine. You set it in here, you know, far to, to the right or to the left, and you got to wiggle it around. So put your insert in, and what you'll notice is you just got to move it around to fit, and you'll find that perfect placement, and you can tell even still, i got to move it up, and then it fits perfectly. The other issue, oftentimes, and it's the vast majority, is that your platform is too low or too high. So you'll notice, again, this insert follows the right contours, but it is sitting way too low. This platform needs to be raised up. So again, follow your manual to figure out how you adjust your platform, because all of our cabinets are a bit different, but get it to the right height so that your insert is hitting right where it needs to hit.